certainly much to uh, digest, much to consider when it comes to that whole topic. But, I mean, safe to say, Kenny, that, look, we're living in a different age than when you when you played. I mean, um, there's just a lot more, there are a lot more opportunities for athletes to speak. There's a lot more, I mean, the, the social media thing has opened the door for everybody to really let everyone know how you feel all the time. Yeah, I, I think there was always avenues. I think that, you know, a lot of times they didn't want to be listened to, you know, and um, I didn't think that at times the media would take the opportunity to even have conversations with athletes at, at, when, at certain times. Uh, but the, the result of all of that, you know, I, I think one of the things they pressed on is about, well, how can you do individually? I think as, a, as an athlete, you do have a platform that you can start something. But I think the people who are in the community have a bigger outreach because, you know, it is difficult for Chris Paul or Dwayne Wade to physically be in the, in the, in the areas. And those are the people who are actually in the areas. There are so many community leaders that do it every day. And we could support by lending our voice or lending our dollar or our checkbook. But more importantly, there are so many leaders every single day. This is not, this might be new to athletics, but not to the urban community. I grew up in a society in, in the urban community that there were so many leaders that are there right now that are taking initiatives and just don't maybe have the voice, but they do way more than I could ever do. You know, LeBron made some very interesting points. One of my favorite points was when he said he means a lot to so many people. And I thought that. I just want to say, Charles, thank you for not shutting up and dribbling. Dr. J, thank you for not shutting up and dribbling. Because you guys definitely inspired Kareem me. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Thank you. You guys you. definitely inspired me to Bill be an NBA player. You know, my advice to you know, everyone that wants to speak their mind and do their part of the community, they must realize it's a full-time job. Don't just do it to get your likes and get your followers up. Dr. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, guys like that, they did it full time. They accepted the re responsibility. So if you're going to do it, accept the responsibility. You know, and it's just a bigger platform with social media. But I think you have to really be careful. So, uh, you know, I don't believe in social media. I'm going to do any social media because I don't want to open myself up to all them jackass and idiots out there. Uh, but it can be used from some of these guys in a positive way. But Ernie, athletes have always, going back to Bill Russell, Muhammad Ali, uh, uh, Jim Brown, all those guys, athletes have always spoken. But, but I'm just uh, saying, back then, you could name, the, you could put those on one hand. There were guys who were, who were the, like the ones you mentioned. But today you see so many more. Well, that's because of social media. That's what, that's what I'm but, saying. But, it's, but, it's but a you new have to be Some of these guys are not equipped to be on social media. It can work both ways. There's certain guys we want to speak, and there's certain guys we don't want to speak. I think we have to be really, really careful because so, some of those other trolls out there, their only job is to incense you. They can see that's the one thing you have to really be careful when you're a celebrity. People can say whatever they want to to you. You just say something back. That's when it becomes da 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 da. -da. Yeah. Herm Edwards is one of my favorite men in the world. Always talks about. Don't push sin because it's, they, there's people who only goal in life is to make you mad. Well, I know, I know you're the king of the analogy, but I have an analogy to draw okay. because I, I was thinking about this over the last couple of days. It's almost like you remember the movie The Untouchables. Yes, Kevin, uh, Kevin uh, Costner, Costner and, and, uh, and Sean Connery. Uh, Sean Connery. And they're, they're going to go down and, and bust the, the, the liquor place. And it's the first time. And Sean Connery looks at at uh, Kevin Costner and says, or Elliot Ness, and says, remember, now, if I bust down this door, we're in, and there's no going back. Exactly. Are you prepared to do that? Yep. Yeah. And I think that is often the case that you find yourself in right now. Am I going to go there? Because if you do, there's no turning back.